And so the canceling continues. Tom King has not been the sanest person of recently. It wasn't even that long ago when he was attacking Dean Cain for virtually nothing. Now he's going after Jay Lee for virtually nothing. So why does Tom King suddenly have a problem with Jay Lee? Well, because Jay Lee did a variant cover for Cyberfrog, and the creator of Cyberfrog is Ethan Van Skyver. So that's Comicsgate, therefore, apparently, Jay Lee has affiliation with Comicsgate, therefore he is Comicsgate. All of these connecting dots that these people of cancel culture oh so love doing so that they can have a reason to campaign for these people getting canceled. So here's what Tom King wrote in his tweet, which is still up, by the way. Today, DC put out an alternative cover to Rorschach by Jay Lee who has also done covers for Comicsgate, a hate group. DC does not consult creators on alternative covers. I reached out to them to express my deep disappointment. Far as I'm concerned, this is the cover to Rorschach number one. So he's saying a lot in this tweet alone. He's saying that Jay Lee is a part of a hate group, therefore DC should not work with him, and that Tom King is personally talking to DC to convince them to never work with Jay Lee again. It wasn't that long ago when Cecil had his cover canceled for Dynamite Comics. I imagine that Tom King is looking at all that attention, all those engagements, and he's thinking, hmm, I want some of that. I want attention. And he's willing to use Jay Lee as a stepping stone to get those retweets and engagements. As I've said many a time before, Twitter is all about people who are addicted to social media and to social engagement, to social interaction, even if it means throwing people under the bus, even if it means creating an enemy out of friends. And this is all part of the reason why cancel culture is so dangerous. A lot of them aren't really based on anything that would cause somebody to be fired under any normal circumstances, but because people campaign to get these people fired because people like Tom King who have professional relationships with DC can call people up and say, hey, I don't want this person here anymore. It leads to a lot of innocent people getting their lives destroyed and their name defamed. So not too long after Tom King posted this, like a few hours after, he posted a follow-up tweet. I spoke with Jay, he's not on Twitter, didn't know Comic had existed, and doesn't support the hate of any kind. No shit. Most people don't support hate of any kind, including harassment campaigns. We're all good, best possible outcome. Um, Tom King, little question. If you're all good, if you know he's not on Twitter and didn't know that comic theater exists, why is this tweet still up? Why didn't you take this down and try to prevent people from continuing to retweet this, from continuing to believe that this story is accurate and that Jay Lee is an enemy of the people? Do you really love the engagement from this tweet so much that you have to keep it up even if it's defaming another person who you claim you're all good with? And you see Nerd Wonder saying this in the comment section. Your previous tweet can still damage this man's reputation. No need to publicly shame them, but you need to discuss their beliefs and thought process. They truly almost hurt someone due to assumptions and rumors. Sashi, it's like you could have spoken to him before making some dumbass assumptions and trying to ruin his career? Hmm! You mean you can talk to people about things before trying to throw them under the bus and get them cancelled? What? Now Jay himself, although he's not on Twitter, God bless his pure soul, he did respond to the whole craziness that was happening during Tom King's extremely impulsive tweet, and he responded on Instagram, didn't make Tom King look very good. So here's what he had to say. Two weeks ago, June and I took Loki to San Diego to see a specialist. He did not survive due to complications from the surgery. This past Friday was supposed to be a day of mourning. We were back in San Diego to pick up his ashes. We were going to take him to the beach and comfort each other 
by sharing our favorite stories about our little boy. Instead, a part of the internet I avoided, like the plague, came barging in. I had companies I'm working for calling me. Friends reaching out to me. I'm seeing hate pouring out of strangers' mouths, accusing me of things I have no knowledge of. I'm seeing firsthand how fast lies are spreading. Let me be clear, I'm not part of any group. We never made it to the beach. We spent the entire six hour drive back home on an emotional roller coaster. I'm writing this because I'm angry. These irresponsible tweets are not harmless. They don't just go away. They have real world consequences. They can take your job, your life, your memories. June and I were robbed of a special day. So no, we're not all good. This isn't the start of a conversation. This is an end. So please don't drag me into a world I never wanted to be a part of, nor will I ever want to be a part of. I want to honor Loki by going back to producing art made with love for people who enjoy it for what it is. Something that hopefully brings joy into their lives. Mommy and daddy miss you very much, Loki. Rest in peace, Loki. So uh, needless to say, Tom King looks like an asshole. But we also see Jay Lee saying a lot of things that people have been saying for years about cancel culture. It's not harmless to be spreading these rumors. It's not harmless to be doing these harassment campaigns. You're threatening people's lives to be ruined. And for what? Attention on Twitter? So of course, people are not happy with Tom King especially normies who are who are just jumping into this whole madness they're seeing this response from jay lee they're looking at tom king like full of complete disgust and i know that if anyone tried to mess with me and my puppies they'd be met with a shotgun on their front door ain't nobody mess with my puppies people really do need to stop defending cancel culture by saying that it's just the way of the free market. It's not. There's a huge difference between you choosing to not buy something for whatever reason. You can have whatever reason you want for not buying something. There's a difference between that and campaigning against something being made, campaigning against people, spreading false rumors about them to try to get it taken down, to try to get other people on your side to campaign against it and harass the company or the creator into not creating whatever it is that you didn't want to buy. Just because you don't like something doesn't mean that no one else is allowed to like it. That's the difference. That's the difference between free market and cancel culture. It's not the same thing. Stop conflating the two as if the, the same thing. Jay Lee is not the only one who gets dragged around the mud and harassed through these campaigns. It happens more often than you'd think for less. I mean, it's over this cover. This cover that they did freelance just for a cyber frog variant cover. And because, because they dared accept money from Ethan Van Skyver, they deserve to have their lives ruined? What? Nobody's buying that. Especially not dog lovers. That's also the funny thing. So, Tom King's obviously getting some backlash for destroying Jay Lee's day of mourning? How does Tom King respond to this? Hmm, well, he started posting tweets of his own dog. I'm not kidding, not one, but two tweets talking about him and his own dog, as if to say, hey, I like dogs too. Look at the comments just destroying him. You still have a defaming tweet hurting someone in the industry. Yes, he does. He does. He still hasn't taken it down. What's wrong with this guy? And then people saying the buy Jay Lee's cover. The disrespect here. You're lucky you don't get slewed for slander. People are posting the Jay Lee response. Jay Lee loved his dog too. Jay Lee's dog said hi. I, I just, I don't get it. What's the thought process behind posting pictures of your dog after you ruined somebody else's day where they were supposed to be mourning for their lost dog. Is this like your way of compensating 
for the fact that you ruined someone else's day of mourning is like, oh well, I have a dog too. Why, why aren't people caring about me and my dog? Why is all the attention going to Jay Lee? Or is this like some kind of spiteful post like, hey, look, my dog's still alive. I don't understand. What's the thought process behind this? Because there's no way that this isn't related, right? Right? He's posting these like right after Jay Lee's response. Oh my god. You know what? Maybe he should just delete his Twitter. <laughs> Let's be real here. Maybe he should have a discussion with DC about deleting his Twitter. I think he said enough. I mean, I don't know if Jay Lee has actually been fired, but he, he did say that he was getting calls from people that he was working with, and freaking Tom King is here saying that he is discussing this w directly with DC. To which I assume in order to get him taken off. And the idea that he's keeping this tweet up just because I guess he got a lot of retweets, so he wants to keep that engagement going. I guess some people will be so desperate for engagement on Twitter that they don't even mind if it's negative engagement. But you're certainly not doing anything good for your brand. People will certainly not be uh, nearly as excited to get your books knowing that you behave this way. I don't know, the last time when I was talking about Tom King and, and the Dean Cain exchange, I was mostly, I was sit, talking about it with the best interests in mind for both people. Keep your Twitter professional, don't try to get involved in drama. But I guess some people need that drama in their life to f feel complete or whatever. But these are just my thoughts, of course. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Hmm, <laughs> do you notice I have a new light? Doesn't really look that good though, does it? <laughs> I guess it lights me up, but I don't, I don't really have a stand for it yet, so it's just kind of directly shining bright light into my eyes. Oh, for those of you who want to stick around for the 40k live stream. I was going to have it last Friday. I know that you were probably expecting to have it last Friday, but I couldn't. Complications arose. No worries, I'm going to have it tomorrow. 6 p.m. Classic time for all streams. And we'll discuss all kinds of things that are happening. But I just wanted to get this video out here talking about the Tom King and G J Lee craziness online because it I mean, I know it's probably getting a lot of people down in the dumps. Hopefully the best outcome that actually comes from this whole thing is that people step up to support Jay Lee, go against cancel culture, try to prevent this from happening to anyone else. That's what I think is really the best outcome that can come from this. So thank you guys for watching. Remember to like the video and I'll see you next time. Bye. Program restart.